In this video, I'm going to be installing a winch on my Chevy Trailblazer. XR3500 to replace the old winch that I had you can see that there's still a mount on there I'm hoping that this mount would still work for this Badland but we'll see when I unbox this right now okay. always have a call Contigo sponsor me Five cups. Literally, I have like. What? <coughs> huh? What'd you say? I said you could come over here. Oh. You could bring the thing if you want. I like that it's a black color. The one I had before was gray. And before it shit the bed, I was gonna paint it black. But this one already comes black. So nice. Look at that. Look at that sucker. Mm -hmm. Beautiful piece. This one has the remote, so. This one, well, I'll unbox this and let me see if this will mount up to the old location and it looks it does it looks like it does yes sir so i can use my old bracket i bet you the bracket looks exactly like that in this box So this kit comes with, oh look at it. it has a different type of hook. Oh look at that. It's like a bowl. Fancy. It says half, a half pound. I don't know if that's the, what it can hold. Oh look at it, it comes with the hook too. Nice. Nice, so it comes with two different types of hooks you can use. Got the cables. Little badland fucking what is this? We really have this. Oh, a little toe strap. Mm -hmm. I don't see I don't see how this would work. It looks like it's just around the hook. So yeah, it's, just, it's just to advertise I guess. Yeah. Not unless you fucking sponsor me, bitches. <laughs> so it comes with a manual button. So you can. I wonder if this fits the one that I already have. Or did I remove it? Oh, I think I removed it. I'm not sure. Yeah. I have to install the new one. So. Yeah, I should have left it because this looks exactly the same. <laughs> but uh, you, you, when you have the wiring, you have this plugged up somewhere out here, and then you just plug into the plug in the remote. Boom, and you just me, 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 
mais... And it has another one that you just leave installed into the back. You just... But where the... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So one of these is supposed to be a handlebar. This one. This one is supposed to be for like a handlebar. So you just plug this into your ATV or whatever. And plug it into this right here. And just from the ATV, you can sit on it and just wheel yourself in. But I'll more than likely see if I have enough cord. Put on Actually, the inside. what I'm going to do is mount this on the inside mm -hmm. of the trunk. So that way I can just push the button from the inside of the trunk. And this, I'll have it since it's long enough. I'll bring this all the way to the driver's side. So if I'm in the driver's seat, I can just hold it in, blah, 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 or whatever. We'll see. I wonder if the other one I have this too. But it comes with the wiring. <coughs> boom, boom. It has this. So depending on where you put it, like if you put it inside your bumper or your front um, bash bar, you could uh, mount this onto it and have the wire coming through here so it doesn't scrape any size or whatever. But this is going to be mounted right there in the back so it's not going to be this. <clears throat> I still have the other one too, which is right here. This is the one from the old one. As you can see, it's exactly the same. There with the other one. <coughs> what else we got in here? Oh, this is the rest of the stuff for the ATV mount up. And then we got your power wire. This is, a, this is like the relay right here. So, what I'm gonna do different this time that I didn't do the last time is after I have everything mounted in it I'm gonna weatherproof it because the last bunch I had all all these wires corroded to shit they all corroded ground wire, power wires, all these wires corroded to shit and then this was all rusted up. It was, it was garbage. It just, one day I went to use it and it just went and just got in that's it. So I'm gonna weatherproof the hell out of this when I get it installed. I don't know. I think I might still have the power wire underneath that I ran to the battery. I'm gonna have to check that out, which will make it easier to run all this stuff. So first, you know what I didn't notice? Okay, here it is. So these are the bolts to mount this up, this baby up. Same thing with these. When I took the other one off, one of these, you know, what's it to shit? So when I mount this up, I'm going to mount this up first. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to put like a clear coat on this. You know those, those touch up paint things? I'm going to put the clear coat around this to protect it from getting rusted. And then after I put these wires onto this, I got some liquid uh, liquid tape. Like like the black electrical tape. Electrical tape. I'm going to put the liquid tape around this. and. Instead of spray painting it, I'll probably just use the liquid tape for these two. For these connectors after I get them all tightened up. So that way it protects it from any weathering. Same thing with the same thing with these Phillips screws. Because they, they were all rusted to, to, to crack. I'm pretty sure this is a ground. So I'll uh, ground this to the body. But uh, yeah, this start putting this together. We're going to have a bracket? Oh, good point. 
third and fifth in the bracket. Let's see. I'd be mad. You know what? I bet you the bracket is sold separately. <laughs> Nice. It's the same exact bracket. Is it? It was underneath the two boxes. Yeah. Same exact bracket. Nice. And it already, yeah, I didn't make them. So the holes are good. Okay. It actually has less, less holes in here, I think. I, mean, I would replace this one and use the new one, but that's just too much work. I already covered these up with paint. So I'll more than likely just clean this up here. But they, they sell these brackets separate and it's like freaking like 35 or 45 dollars just for this. So hit me up. <laughs> 40 bucks. <laughs> and the same thing with that little black thing. 20 bucks. 60 bucks. Get yourself a complete set. Here. I'll even throw in that extra gray one. <laughs> gotta, gotta pay shipping though. Last time I sent something shipping freaking killed me. It took the, almost the whole thing. Boats look like there's like some sort of coating on it. Maybe it already has that. Like Shut up! <laughs> Maybe it already has like some sort of rust prevention. But from the looks of it, it's not a thick coat because I can already see the boat through this little scratch. Having this made us sometimes easier. Huh? Made it sometimes easier having this already. Yeah, already there. Yeah. Oh, and look at this. If you have the same truck, if you notice, I have this going into the bumper. What I did is I used a threaded bar and I drilled the hole straight through the metal bumper all the way to the inside and in the inside I welded a nut so that it can screw into so I welded the nut to the frame of the truck put the bar through threaded this into the nut and then I put this here and this is on, onto the metal frame of the bumper so I did that because I, before I had this on here and I had it mounted, when I was pulling something, this would flex forward. So I used this to keep it from flexing. And if it, I put a bolt on both sides so that this, you know, doesn't move backwards. So if you can see, I got the bolt back there. Mm -hmm. So it's it's solid. I, I'll move the truck before I yes. freaking move bends. So uh, actually. I could show you where I mounted it into the truck. <coughs> you can see it right here. I got it coming through here and then underneath here it comes through. Where's that hole? Right here. Boom. I got it welded right here. Which it's actually might need to be welded again. Yeah, it's going to need to get welded again. Yeah, it's going to have to get welded again, but that is where I welded it. You can see this bolt is spinning now. So I'm going to have to clean this up and weld it again. And after I weld this again, 
I'm gonna have to uh, use that uh, liquid. Um, use the li liquid electrical tape thing. But here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how this is still stiff. But I'm gonna have to weld it again because the bolt. So let's get our new little thing in here. The simple set. Easy. Easy peasy. I was trying to find a cover for this small enough for when it rains out because I think that's one of the main reasons why my other one got destroyed because of the rain. Definitely why. So I'll, I'll probably just make one. I'll probably just get some aluminum, put it across here, have it come out and then down. So that way, if it does rain, it'll just rain around it. I'm pretty sure the moisture will still fucking put rust on certain parts, but better than directly raining on top of it. And you get one of those, like, covers, like a fabric one, with the... Yeah, that's the one that I was talking about. I bought one, but it was like humongous. Another guy that had a trailblazer C where I had mounted this winch and thought told me he was like that's that's a good idea. I never even thought about that. And it's good because it may be a 3500 but this winch or even the other wrench that was 3500 it was pulling my cars perfectly fine. It was it had, it had no hesitation, it didn't give me any problems up until the end that it just shit the bed for whatever reason so let me get a tool for that so once i'm organized thanks to the wifey behind camera my damn toe. There we go. It looks like it might be a 14. Yeah. Can you use the socket? Come on. So, no, because I won't be able to get it here or that. And I would use the part right here that ratchets, mm -hmm. but if you could see, mm -hmm. it's completely missing because my caveman strength. Ooh. You know what? I think it's actually a 13. This one's for um, this one's used for uh, 
like brake lines and stuff, but it's only 13 and a half in front of me. Does it help? I had somebody at work. I had some. I had somebody while my truck was parked at work, trying to steal my other winch. Cause uh, when I was getting off of work, I noticed this one up here was missing, and all the other three were loose. Wonder how long it took. So I stopped parking it where it couldn't be seen and started parking it in front of a camera that's inside the building. When that happened, I was so close to just welding these bolts onto the freaking bracket. Good thing I didn't because I would have had to freaking chop it off to get the old winch off. Looks nice, all black. Yeah, I still gotta paint the bumper black, but definitely, definitely looks good. Definitely looks good. It was meant to be. Turning it down is a free spool. So I mean, you just you can just pull it without having to um, have, it, have the button on. This one, right? Mm -hmm. Use this. Be different. The other one only came with a hook. This one actually has one of these things. So I'll put it down straight down like this. Try to put this. Mother. Son of a. It's all fit. Bad lands. Bad lands. What's going on here? Unless this is just to put on a vehicle so that you can tow a vehicle or whatever you're towing, like on the ATV or whatever. Mm, maybe. Oh well. And lands. <laughs> and lands. How cool would this look with one of these jimmies on there? Boop. Yeah, definitely thinner. Everything being black saves me so much time having to paint it. Right. And money. I gotta get one of these for your truck too. We need to pull each other out the Yeah. Oh, 
How cool is that? Painted that black. Boop, boop. Okay, that's installed. So now let's see if I remember how to do all this stuff because instructions are for big. <laughs> Your stack of instructions you don't you don't read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you see the dust on those mother suckers? <laughs> don't need that. Oh my. I'm gonna be picking that up in like five minutes. <laughs> All right. Made a repo. Yeah, the seat covers. Are you gonna use these again? Nope. Use the long one for the back seat. <laughs> There's so many pieces. Look at that, that's perfect. You want to see more perfect? Go ahead. I can use this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, what? Oh, Jeff, don't hate me and think about that. Figure it out, I look like Mickey Mouse. I look like one of Mickey Mouse's ears. At least your head won't touch the floor. <laughs> you think I ain't gonna use this? No, I believe it. Alright, let's see what we have under here and what we're working with. So, you want to have something to lay on to? So it looks. So the power wire is still here. It's just rusted to shit. Well, not really that bad, but see it? It's not really that bad. I'm gonna clean that up. I'm gonna hide these wires. Okay. Um, you want something to lay on? Or you want me to just record from now, for now? What are you going to record? Oh, you want, let me see that. Yeah, I was going to try it. So. You guys get to look at my pretty face for a minute. Oops. Wait. How's this go? Yeah, it's not. No, it's the opposite way. Just one in my bag here, and I'll take this right here. Let's pop the socket. There. Oh, should I cut all this out, or just have everybody look at my goddamn face while I do this? Okay. I gotta do some, uh, I gotta do undercoating here. Okay. So. Here's the uh, power wire. I gotta clean this up a bit. I got it wrapped around there because it goes all the way to the front to where the battery is. 
Uh, as you can see, I had the last one mounted right here. You can already see the, the rust I was talking about before. I gotta take these clips off so I can put that new stuff in, but I gotta clean this up and uh, do some undercoating on this torque. It was fine for a while, but definitely need to do the undercoating. So let me see if I can. All right, I'm a fucking get everything mounted up or get start mounting stuff up and then I'll pick up on the camera. the uh, liquid electrical tape on there uh, if you don't know the, the tips of these bolts here are color-coded so you know which wire goes to which bolt like this one had a yellow dot on it red dot on it black dot on it and a blue dot on it so you know which wires go where so right now I am just gonna wait for this electrical tape to dry before I move forward and uh, using these to give it a little extra protection all right now that it's dry i'm going to put the rest of these on um for the extra protection now remember okay we got blue yellow red and black right so black is grounded to the frame of the vehicle red is the power that goes from the battery and the blue and red i mean the blue and yellow yellow up top blue in the bottom Alright, time for a time lapse. mess I have here okay, so uh, that's why I mounted it where I showed you this is the back of the truck I got these wires hanging because whoever had this truck here why disconnected this one and like wired this into it so I'm, I gotta figure out how these wires are connected because when I connect the trailer to this when I connect the trailer to the U-Haul one it works perfectly fine the signals and all that nonsense but when i connect it to mines which i believe it's because it has to have an accessory light one of these brown wires here must be connected wrong because every time i do the left turn signal they both blink when i do the right turn signal it blinks fine and the accessory light doesn't want but uh that's pretty much all i gotta do to uh, get her done but uh, i had to do a uh, new ground there because the ground that was up here somewhere kind of got ripped up but um uh, maybe this is a corporate maybe maybe this is the corporate right here maybe this is why it's not working but we'll see when i get into it but uh there you have it this is how i have everything wired up these goes to the these goes on there and to where the winch is and that's where it's mounted I gotta throw some more uh, the liquid electrical tape I gotta put more there to prevent that from corroding but other than that it's working perfectly fine so thank you for watching stay tuned to J-Tuned peace why so you gonna fix the car? <laughs>